My name is Piper Lemony and I love eating whole lemons and once I ate six whole lemons. Eight-year-old Piper lives in an affluent suburb of Bristol with her parents, Ali and Darren, and her little sister, Sienna. What's the best thing about being you? Hmm. Everything, really. One of these girls eats cheese while juggling milk and throwing her pet parrot off the mountain. Piper is a very energetic, uh, mischievous child, I would say. Yeah, she is. She's, uh, she's always needed lots of attention. Yes. She's quite high maintenance, we would say. Yeah. I'm saying the positives and you're saying the negatives. That's a mother's prerogative, I think. <laughs> I'm with her a lot. <laughs> well, that's very, very true. Darren owns his own roofing company, and while Stally works flexi hours as a PA, she spends most of her time at home with the kids. Okay. Thank you. They get to go swimming, uh, playing sports, there's drama, there's dancing. Their life is amazing. I am, yeah, a little bit prone to, you don't know how lucky you are. <laughs> <laughs> I'm drawing a unicorn, because I love unicorns. I've been quite Sorry. untouched by any great um, uh, problems, though, so far, haven't yeah. they? Yeah. I mean, they, they've had quite an easy ride. Yeah, which every child should. Piper's going to play with two children she's never met before. I think it's very important for me to meet different people from cultures and backgrounds, because if the world was full of me, it would be very boy. So if I met someone, I would say, ooh, you look like me. Can you tell me a bit about myself? Oh, that's the same as myself. So it would be very boring and the world would be uninteresting. First, Piper will be going to play at the home of eight-year-old Lily, who lives on a housing estate outside the town centre with her mum, Cassie. Prison guards in a UFO on the way to Mexico eating Doritos. My relationship with Lily is very close. We dance, we sing, we think the same. I think we have a very close relationship because she carried me in her belly for nine months. So that's one of the things because we couldn't be closer. <laughs> So when I was about three, my mum had a mountain biking accident. She fell off her bike and now it makes her hard for her to do things. These are mum's tablets and I'm just helping her out by doing the... Come sit by me. ...labels, so... Lily is very helpful and considerate. For instance, I struggle with the stairs, so when the boiler goes off, um, she goes up and she turns back on or she runs and she'll get my tablets for me if they're upstairs. So I need these now. Sometimes I find it difficult to make friends because it's, it's hard for me to keep that relationship up when I'm at home a lot. I think Lily is quite inclined to want to stay around here because then she can monitor if I'm feeling all right. Lily is about to host the first of three play dates with children who live nearby but have never met before. It's a big day. Hey. It is a big awesome. day. Yeah. My aspirations for her are for her to make some close friendships, to lead a happy life, and to follow her dreams. And I'll be there supporting her, backing her every step of the way, and she knows that. But I just really want her to pave her own way. I feel quite tired. How do you feel? Hi, Ty, I'm excited. I think this play date will be important because who knows, it could make your life friend, like a soulmate forever. Um, and maybe, maybe a couple, maybe like an acquaintance. I'm just a bit nervous. Don't be nervous. Don't really. She'll be fine. People. Okay. Yeah. Butterflies in your tummy? Yeah. <laughs> Any problems? Any worries? Come and talk to me. I like the fact that it's so much green. I think that's great. Yeah. There's those cigarettes on the floor, though. <laughs> mm, that's not so nice. Nope. So no doorbell. Did you hear something? That's a knock. It's me. The stem, the stem, the stem, Is the it? stem. <laughs> Hello. Hi. Hi. Hiya. 
Do you want to come in? Wow, I love your ears. Thank you. <laughs> Hello. What's your name? Oh, Piper. What's your name? Oh, Lily. Oh, I like that name. What's your name? I'm yeah. Lily Nine. I'm nearly nine as well. <laughs> oh, good. So you'll have, probably have a bit in common then. I would have yeah. thought so. Also hoping to make new friends is 10-year-old Isis. I would describe myself as an independent, not a follower, because I just like to do my own thing. We called Isis Isis after... Egyptian goddess. I quite object to the terrorist group being called ISIS because they're not called ISIS. That's just a name that we have made up to suit uh, uh, our... to acronise in our language. What, what are they called, ISIS? Daesh. Yeah. Sarah and I split up five years ago. We have been sharing ISIS split down the middle. Ever since. I have that half, you have that half. <laughs> I have the top half. Yeah, the Do you know why they split up? Yeah, but now I've learned because Daddy gets angry at things that you shouldn't really get angry at. Like my granny cutting the bread too thick. Since they're split, Isis spends half her time at her mum's house and the other half at the house her dad rents. I share this house with another friend of mine uh, who has a son the same age as Isis. So we're a very non-nuclear family. This is Steve. He's so cuddly. This is Sparkle, because she's got sparkly eyes. I feel at the moment Isis lacks a best friend. That's Ellie. She's of an age when the playground politics is odd. She's so soft. Because I want to be an independent, I think that everybody's discluding me. Come on, Daddy. <laughs> there was one, oh, I, there was one girl she told me, I first, oh, my heart went out to her. They were playing hide and seek. She was really glad because they'd included her and she'd been hiding for ages. And then when she came out, she realised they were playing another game. And you just think, oh God, you could just really imagine her in the playground, just waiting for them to come and find her. And then looking out and realising they weren't looking anyway. Come on! <laughs> Tim and Isis spend every other weekend together and will host the second play date at his. But first, she's going to play with Piper at Lily's house. Do you feel in any way nervous? No, not Really? Any. Not at all? I'm a tiny bit nervous. A fun month. Oh, oh. oh wow! wow. Hello. Hi. Oh, girlies. Hello. Yeah, girl power. Oh, Hello. my word. <laughs> Hi. This is going to yeah. be fun. This is going to be really fun. Really fun. Is, so I indeed. have got a little bit of a problem. I've got bad memory. I hit my head. So if I forget your names, I'm very sorry. I've also got a problem with getting up the stairs. So if you need me, all you need to do is come to the top of the stairs and I'll poke my head around this bottom bit okay. and then I can sort out any problems you got. Are you happy? Bye girls, enjoy. Bye. This is our kitchen. Very cramped. That's why you can only have two people max in here. And then this is my room. Wow. So cool. <laughs> I just love it. Uh, ooh. <laughs> We can, we can do my friendship bracelet DIY kit. Right, should we go downstairs and do this then, girls? Yeah. So, yeah, yeah, guys, choose, like, how many colours you want. I have so no idea like... how to make a friendship bracelet, by the way. Never we can just make, like, a little basic plaited bracelet. Well, can I tell you my, like, job plan? OK. So, it's like, when I'm older, I want to go to uni because I want to be a teacher, so... When I grew up, I want to be an actress. I always wanted to be an actress. Why do you want to be an actress? Because I love acting so much. I've loved it all my life, and I'm named after an actress as well. Are you? What actress? Piper Perabo. I want to be an actress when I grow up because they get paid um, a lot of money to be in films. 
and and these pens, these stick ones, smell. Really? This one smells like popcorn. Oh. This one smells very nice oh. as well. What flavour is it? Um, that is gum, <laughs> I think. It looks a bit like candy floss on the stick. Well, candy floss is usually on the stick, but anyway. So I'm going to draw my mum. Who do you live with? I live with my mummy, my daddy, my little sister Sienna, my two cats Lonnie and Bobo, and my two fish and sea snails. I've lived in the same house all my life, but it's quite a big house, so there's lots of space in it. But there is four of us and pets, so we need a lot of space. I've got a good oh, so idea, like, because my parents are split up, I'll do it. The, my family on one side, and then my other so family. So, like, your mum's family and then your dad's family. Yeah. I'm going to do that as well. That's a good idea. We've already got something in common. Yeah. Who's the um, boss in your houses? Probably my mum, because she's like... To my brother, she's like... Um, <laughs> my mum is the boss. We have something in common yet again. My mum's probably the boss, but my dad is the boss in a different way, because he works pretty much full time, but my mum always is taking care of us. They're really lovely girls. Really lovely. OK, come on, let's have a little sort of picnic. They're all sort of got different sort of home lives going on, but they're just sort of like making sense of the world, aren't they? They're really funny. Like it? Mm-hmm. It feels like we're BFFs, doesn't it? Mm-hmm. Like, I mean, we are making friendship bracelets. Yeah. Ma, how are you doing? How am I doing? Not too bad. Sat on my stool. OK. So... Do you want to put this out? What things do you like? Uh, unicorns, fluffy things, glitter. Those are girly things, recently. <laughs> yeah. I'm trying to go in the house. <laughs> I'm worried if I don't get along with them, but I'm more worried if they're being a bit awkward and things, yeah. I don't include you, maybe. How would you deal with that? Hmm. Um, I'm not really sure. OK, <laughs> okay and now I, I think we need to conjoin our um, super... Um, MV power balls, OK? She's only eight. And it's such a big situation to put her in. If she's with very confident characters, she can sometimes just feel like she doesn't have as much to offer. Oh, are you OK? What's are you wrong? Right? What's happened? What's wrong? <laughs> What's happened? What's the matter? Do you miss your mum? Okay. What is it? Just tell me what it is. I just don't really feel very comfortable. I feel really nervous. Do you wanna do you wanna jump my mum? At Lily's house in Bristol, the girls have stopped their game. Do you want to go into my mum and then she'll call your parent and then you can have a little speak with her, yeah? As eight-year-old Piper has started to cry. Yeah, get, come on, come on, let's go get my mum. Think about unicorns and fluffy things and glitter. Yes. All right, guys, just walking she in. She misses moves. her mum. Oh, my darling, all of a sudden, what's happened? Do you often go away from your mum for baby? <laughs> um, sometimes. Sometimes, yeah. yeah Lily I'm might sure. feel like this when she goes to one of your guys' houses because she's not separated from me very often. If something makes her wobble, she's she's got a very emotional side. If she takes a little knock in her confidence, she doesn't bounce back 
that quickly. She, she needs to process it. She's quite a thinker, so I think it, once she starts to feel uncertain about something, she, draw, she pulls herself back and then she thinks about everything and then she might need some reassurance. Right. It's OK. That's it. Are you feeling better? Yes. Very good. With Cassie around for support, Piper is feeling more confident. If you had a superpower, what would it be? Oh, hard one. Probably flying. Do you know what? I already think I've got one. Do you know what my superpower is? It's being the greatest mum in the world. Oh, bless you. Thank you very much. But I wasn't going to say that. Thank not giving up. Uh -huh. I think not giving up is a real superpower in real life. Yeah. Mm. Yeah, true. Can I tell you one where you really used it? Yeah. I think you used it when, um, when you had, when you broke yourself, honestly. Yeah. Um, so how did you um, hit your head? Break myself. <laughs> so I used to do some mountain biking, I sis, and yeah. I used to do it probably three times a week. I really loved it. And one day it had been raining and I... Okay, sure. I came off and um, I hit all my head, my neck, this side of my shoulder sort of all broke up. And they put it back together. It's all right, it's <laughs> fine, it's fine. She's went into a place called NHS, I think that's what it's called, and that's for... I don't know, but I'm guessing it's for th people with things around their chest, like, so it won't be a broken ankle. Right, you're ready, are you, Lils, with yours? Yes. Do you work? Do I work? No, I used to be a hairdresser and I used to have my own little business. Um, how do you earn money? So I had some savings left from when I had my business. So that helped us along. And then otherwise you get what's called a benefit. I mean, it's just basically that people are helping us all the time and they're very kind for doing that because we all get in a state like this in life. Everyone thinks that their life, yes, is difficult, very difficult. And sometimes when you're saggy, you think your life's difficult than others. But actually, we all have one thing in common. And that one thing is that we all have problems. <laughs> It's the end of the first play date. Hello. Hi. Hi. Over the next week, Isis and Piper will also host at theirs. <laughs> How are you? Oh. Right. Oh. Where did you go? Hi. As Piper's been enjoying the fruit salad. She loves though. fruit. She's good as gold, isn't she? She's very good. She missed you for a moment, but then was all right once we had the the dinner and everything. She was all right. Yeah. She was getting slightly tearful, yeah, but she was really brave. Really yeah, brave. Anyway. Hiya, how's it been? It's been really lovely. They they're all, honestly, they're such a You're pleasure right? to have. Mm -hmm. Thank you. You're more than welcome. OK, guys. Bestie! Bye. Right, I'm going to walk you out. Bye. <laughs> Bye. Oh, we had the best you. time ever. Excellent. Bye. Thank you very much. Bye. Bye, darling. <laughs> I'm excited for the next play date. Come on, then, my sweetheart. You were a bit worried about that, weren't you? Yeah. Yeah? But yeah. they're all nice? Yeah, they're really nice. Excellent. Piper got a bit upset, though. Because? Because she missed her mum. I felt quite awkward because I didn't really want to play the game that, were, that they were playing because I didn't really like it. But I didn't want to say because it looked like the game. Um, Lily liked it really a lot. So did you find it hard at that point to join in a little bit? Yeah. And that made you feel a bit unsettled? Do you think you've got two new friends? Yeah. Excellent. Definitely at least one new friend. Oh. Uh, me and Lily became really, really good friends so easily because <laughs> we're, we're, we have so much in common. Such as? Uh, like our parents just split up. Uh-huh. Um, Piper, I found, was a bit shy. She didn't really talk much. But she just needs to come out of her shell a little more, doesn't she? Mm-hmm. That's all. 
And I just wanted to say that her mum fell off a mountain when she was doing mountain bike, and now everything's much harder. Lily had to do lots of things for her, like turn the boiler on, because her mum couldn't really get upstairs or use her hands so she couldn't drive, really. And why didn't they have their dad? Their mum and their dad broke up. So it was quite a different family to our family? Yeah. And the only thing Lily would change is for her mum not to be um, hurt. Really need my tablets. Lily, would you go up, please? I, c I can't go any longer without them. It's got to put them out. I'm getting a migraine. <laughs> oh. oh. I feel like I've had to grow up quickly because you've got to sort of take care of your parent that has this, like, accident, and you've got to learn a lot of things very quickly. Oh. <sighs> Thank you, my darling. I think it'd be good to have a dad because dads can be very useful and um, they can really help with some things that kids can't do, like cook dinner for the kids, but they just got to put their mind to it. That's what I find with boys. They just got to put their mind to it and do it. <laughs> Would you just pull that curtain slightly, please? This one. Thank you. That's fine like that. That's a lot better. What's going to be the best thing today? Meeting them again. Because I'm really excited to meet them again. The next play date is being hosted by Isis at her dad Tim's house. Isis was the result of a... Um... <laughs> Long weekend away in Prague. Uh, a cultural weekend, actually. We did lots of art and things like that. Tim and Sarah split up five years ago and they've been co-parenting Isis ever since. Tim now lives in a shared rented home. Can you take your shoes off? The garden's a bit muddy. Trying to keep things presentable for your... Yeah, players. keeping up appearances, isn't it, you know? I put the effort into cleaning the house. You might not be able to tell, so we, we want to keep it nice. I think it's going to be fun. Um, what could go wrong? Injury, um, death, um, extreme cases. No, I think I think we're okay. I think we're fine. I have worries for the next play date. If I don't make a game again and I get a bit upset, or if it just doesn't go well because it still could not go well because it's a completely different person's house. Lily has her worries too, as she rarely leaves her mum home well, alone. Right, I'll go this way. <laughs> I love spending time with my mum, but it's a bit new to me going somewhere without her. It's, like, scary because I don't know what's going to happen to her. I don't know if she's going to need someone to look after her or... Anything like that. After all, I wasn't there when her accident happened, so there might be another accident and I might not know about it. I think she worries because she feels like if something happens to me, then who else is there? She worries about things that she shouldn't have to. And I can't imagine what it's like to have that one person in your life that's looking after you, um, half a person sometimes, you know? Ready to do my hair? Yeah. Wow, it looks beautiful. Have you got a hug ready for me? Oh, I've got the biggest hug ready for you. <laughs> right, so, just me goodbye, lady. <laughs> OK, little lady. <laughs> In Bristol, Lily and Piper are about to go and play with Isis. It's only the second time that they've all met. Bye, babe. Have a good time. But eight-year-old Lily isn't used to leaving her mum. Stepping out of your comfort zone is a very hard thing to do. But I feel like now I'm growing up, I need to get used to being in the proper world, doing things for myself. As Cassie can't drive, Piper's mum, Ali, has offered Lily a lift. Are you nervous? Yeah. What are you nervous about? 
Um, just if we don't really get along. We probably will get along, but just in case. The play date is being hosted by Isis at her dad Tim's shared house. When you have three kids together, it's very easy for one in, a th in three kids to be left out. So we're going to work on that, aren't we, Isis? Mm -hmm. Including Piper. Aha, uh -huh, girls. I think I can see the house. <laughs> Coming! How are you doing, girls? Good. Isis has got someone she wants you to meet. He is fluffy. <gasps> oh, this is Tom Tom. How are you doing? Are you all right? Hello. Yes, can I shoot her? I think you can see the difference in that they've met each other once before. Yeah. This yes. time. Bye-bye. <coughs> There's three floors. Three stories? Yeah. Oh, do you want to pipe breath? Pipe breath. Three stories. Whoa. I know. Beware. Yeah. In my room, yeah. there is a sofa bed <laughs> full with toys. <laughs> okay, okay, let's go, let's go, let's go then. Okay, the first floor yeah. is uh, these are all my flatmates' uh, rooms. That's my dad's room. Okay. Voila. And here's my yep. room. <gasps> Whoa. Ta da! Ah, I've got a bed like... Whoa. That's sort of like a book corner sort of thing. She's such a core in. OK, guys. Do you want to come and make some slime? Yeah. 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 Right, can you get yourself a bowl and a measuring jug? Oh, can you remember the recipe, <coughs> Isis? Yes. One what? cup of that. Yeah. Right, OK, do you want to pour your PVA into your bowls? Oh, my goodness, why did I wear my hair down? <laughs> Half a teaspoon of this. Oh. And now you've all got teaspoons. So it's like a cross between science and cooking, isn't it? I'm on the top table. Is it in science? Yeah. It's slime. It's sliming. Brilliant. Yeah. What's your mi middle name, Lily? Jo Josephine. What's your middle name? Uh, my name, middle name is Charlotte. Oh, I've got a friend. Like from Charlotte's Web. <laughs> yeah. When I get married, because I love my surname, I'm going to ask the boy or the girl, because I might marry a girl, if we can go by my surname. Well, a lot of ladies keep their surnames now. Yeah, yeah they can keep their surnames. What I was going to do is, when I get married, because I was going to borrow a man to have a baby, then I'm going to dump him, I'm going to get together with my best friend, marry her, and I'm going to have a magic theme wedding with all the monsters from my wardrobe, un unicorns, and I'm going to have a really sparkly wedding dress and those are names, pixies, trolls, elves, fairies, pixies and unicorns. Cool, can I be your flower girl? Okay. This is great. <laughs> How often do you stay with your dad? Uh, well, it's 50-50, really, because uh, I do get to see both my parents. What's it like to live with your mum and your dad? I really like it because I never really want them to split up because it's... Um... Some kids are lucky that they live with their um, dad and mum. You didn't want us to split up, did you, Isis? No. How do you feel about your parents being apart? I don't like it. Why not? Because I get... I miss them. The cons are... I don't get to see them at the same time. But the pros are they don't argue. <laughs> well, uh, sometimes over text messages. <laughs> when I've forgotten some data or something. <laughs> Actually, this is incredibly useful because we, the three of us, have never sat down together and talked about it. Not really, no. No. I think there's a certain inherent amount of guilt that uh, we're not together. But the thing is, we won't tell whether it's affected ISIS for another 20 years. You never tell until much later on. Can you grab yourself a canvas each? Put your canvas there. Now, put your eyes about here. You can see the animal there. Yeah. But you can also 
draw around it. Wow, that's amazing. If you draw around the shadow as well, so you don't push hard. Tim does a fantastic job as a dad, and I think Ice is really lucky that she's got him there to sort of, you know, hang out with as much as she does. Obviously, it'd be better if we were all together, but it doesn't work out that way. <laughs> so you've done that brilliantly. Oh, my goodness, I did. <laughs> I'd like to have a dad in my life because um, dads are nice. That looks great. Oh, my goodness, that does. My dad doesn't live with my mum and me because shortly after I was born, um, my dad and my mum sort of drifted away from each other. And I feel like me and my dad are slowly drifting away too. But it's not nice to, for me and my dad to drift away because he means everything to me. Well, not everything, but most things. Are you worried to leave your mum? Sometimes, because I don't know what's going to happen to her. Like, I was with my nan when my mum had her accident, so... Yeah. Are, are you sad that you can't see her now? Mm, yeah, but after all, I'm having a lovely time. I'm not really thinking about her. Yeah. yeah. Like, so I, I mean, I still miss her, but I'm not really thinking about missing her. Everyone is in their comfort zone when they start life. So it's just basically like a big square, like, and it's got a little step in case you want to come out. And when you just make that big step, to whatever it is, asking someone out, asking to to be friends, asking for someone's number, whatever it is, when you make that step, then your whole life begins. <laughs> also coming out of her comfort zone is Piper. Um, are you having a nice time, Piper? Yes, I'm having a really nice time. You're having a better time today rather than the last time. Well, I had a really fun time yesterday. But I'm glad I'm not crying here. Yeah. You play teachers? Yeah, you sure. can be the teacher. I'll be a teacher of your school. Children, listen up. You, because you didn't guess right, you have to jump on one leg for 20 seconds with both hands on your head. Now. This isn't in real life, by the way. This is just a game. Hiya. 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 How are you doing? Very good. Very oh, good. good. Hey. How are you doing? Come on, come on in. Okay. <laughs> Guys, this is three story. <laughs> wow. You can sit here. Did I just tell the door? I think I might have done. Hello. Ah, hiya. How are Hi. you doing? It's been all right. It's yeah. been fine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Come here. <laughs> Rabbit hug. Thank Bye, you. Lily. <laughs> Got your hands full there, haven't you? <laughs> Oh, I've seen you again. Bye. It's been a pleasure, guys. Bye-bye. <laughs> right, put him in his hutch now. We've got a bit of tidying up to do, haven't we? It was absolutely amazing. Was it? Yes. I think that was brilliant, don't you? Yeah. Tim seems really nice. Yeah, he is lots of fun. <laughs> do you think Piper was at all shy this time? No, she wasn't. No, she, she didn't seem shy at all. It went really good. It was so fun. We did lots of fun activities. So you weren't as nervous this time? Yeah. I was nervous in the car, but then when I got in, I wasn't as nervous. So you all played together and it, there were no problems? Yeah. Well, that's brilliant, isn't it? Yeah. It's the morning of the final play date and Lily's been thinking about her dad. Come on, I thought after the last play date, sort of... very... like, a tiny bit, um... envious about Isis and her dad's relationship. I want sort of that relationship with my dad. Yeah, that's not a surprise. That doesn't surprise me. Yeah. I noticed that you were a bit bouncing off the walls and you probably had some feelings. But it's OK to yeah. have feelings, in it? Mm -hmm. And it's good that you talk about them. With my dad not being around lots, I feel like... almost a part of me is gone. And it almost feels like... I 
don't have a piece piece of me because I don't have a relationship with my dad. But I still obviously love him with, with all of my heart because he's my dad. It is hard to see as a parent, it, to see your children feel like they want and need different things that you just can't give them. It's like today she's gonna go to Piper's house and Piper's got a mum and a dad and a sister. Right, do you want to go first? I think she's probably gonna find this one maybe the hardest of all because it's that perfect family that she wants and that she's desperate for. All right, come on then, let's go. In Bristol, the final of three play dates is being hosted at Piper's four-bed house that she shares with her little sister and mum and dad. Right, Piper, do you want to get the table kind of ready? Um, is there anything you want me to do? Yeah, help me get the snacks ready. OK, then. I think Lily and Isis will think my house is very colourful. There's so much room to get lost in. And when I go outside and look at it from a, a view, I just think, wow, is that my house? So the order is tall, pin the horn on the unicorn. Piper can order from the a la carte. <laughs> I'm going to go get my room ready. Good girl. Piper always asks for the mocktail menu. <laughs> <laughs> and one day, hopefully, they'll end up paying as well. Yeah, <laughs> in your dreams. <laughs> <laughs> Sienna, I've got to brush your hair. Come here. Let me brush it, please. Yeah, no, they have been quite lucky so far, haven't they? Yeah. Mm. So... Long may it continue. That's what we want mm. for them, anyway. We want that life. Really nice houses. They are gorgeous, aren't they? Wow, Lily. Oh, girls! I'm getting that dot! Hey, Piper! Hi! What a beautiful house you have! Thank you. Hello! Hi, hello! hello. Oh, wow! <laughs> All I can say is wow! Hello! Hello! hello. Hi, hello! Hi, hello. Hi, hello. Hi, I'm Sarah. Pleased yeah. to meet you. Darren. Oh, hi. Yes, yeah. Nice place. <laughs> Can I give him a tour? Yes, please do. Oh, Go cool. for it. Guys, I'm ready to give I you like a tour. Um, right. Okay. <laughs> It's like a playroom. Yeah, it is a playroom. We play all our Barbies and things. Mm. And this is also our TV, um, like our movie room, so if anyone comes for a sleepover or something, we always sit on here. Next room. Yeah, I love it. Well, you've seen the living room. Yeah. You probably don't want to see the toilet. No. <laughs> Although it's nice. This is so big. So, Sienna's room. Whoa. Wow, we've got loads of dress-up stuff. Here. This is Sienna's room, right? Yeah, okay. my room. Guessing this is your room. <laughs> Whoa! Wow! Whoa! Bunk this beds. This is such a cool room. Thanks. Which one do you sleep on? Um, Top or bottom? I get to choose every night. Then you are. Oh my goodness! Whoa! Oh! Whoa! OK, I think, if you're ready, it's food time. Yay, beardy, Yay, beardy vegetable man. Beardy vegetable man. Mm. There you go. Tuck into the vegetables. I love this That's house. That's it, really. It's really big. You guys live in, like, mansions. I feel left out here. <laughs> I don't live in a mansion. Some people are rich and, and some people are poor um, because, basically, it's just the way the earth works. Like, I call this kind of a house to manage them. Or maybe they were just born poor and, like, couldn't get a lot of money because of, like, vandalism or something like that. Some people live in small houses because they don't have enough money to buy a big house. I think it's true, yeah. Some people can't afford big houses or some people have quite a lot of money but they want to spend on lots of different things like maybe um, really cool cars and like lobsters and things. Mm -hmm. Lobsters? Yeah. What? Really 
Some people are poor and some people are rich, but just because you live in a big house doesn't mean you are rich. Maybe you choose to spend a lot of money on a big house, but if you have a small house, it doesn't mean you're poor. You might, that's just what you choose. Right, I'm planning on having, I know it sounds weird, but six children. So I'm oh. never going to be able to take them to Disneyland, am I? You might. Well, I won't afford it. You could. You could end up as a billionaire. Money is important to me in some ways, but if I would rather have a family, I would rather choose to have a family than be rich. Hi, sis. I know you're the costume designer. Can I wear, like, one for being a princess, one for being a unicorn? As a grand finale to the last play date, budding actress Piper has planned one last activity. What shall happen first, director? There needs to be like a prince. How about I'm the prince, but then he turns into a leopard? Yeah. Coming. Girls, do you think that the parents should all sit here and the play should be here? Hi. Hi. Hey. How are you doing? Yeah, I'm good. How are you? Yeah, has it been nice and chilled? Hello. Yeah, we have a play. A play? Yeah. Yeah. So who wrote this play then? All of us. Okay. Three, two, one, action! Would you care to have a dance? I'd love to. Oh. <laughs> oh. Whoosh! Turn into a leopard. Forget about him. Forget no, about him. Forget beach. about him. Oh, I have a new pet leopard. I'm going to call him Barbara Bobina. Oh, cool. Hey, leopard. That dress costs one million pounds. Turn into a human, turn into a human. My boyfriend. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's good that I've met Lily and Piper because there is no follower, there is no leader. We're all independents, but we all like each other. <laughs> <laughs> Well done. Oh, cool. Wow. You haven't seen the last of me. <laughs> <laughs> Piper might have a mum and dad, but I've got my mum when she's dad parenting and mum parenting. So she does both of those roles. That was amazing, girls. I thought that was really impressive. Thank you. I've got best of both worlds, but just in one person. <gasps> I feel a bit left out because um, I, I, and Piper have really big homes, but I only have a small. Oh, uh, you're the only one with a dog. And Piper I, and Sienna definitely sure want a dog. I'm pretty sure they would swap this house for a dog any time. That's for sure, <laughs> wouldn't you, kids? Yeah. Okay. Told you. Okay. <laughs> a dog for a house. You Is that okay? okay? My beloved okay. dog. <laughs> Thanks very much, Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Nice to meet you. Bye. Nice to meet you. And you. Very nice to meet you, Isis. Bye, yeah, bye-bye. Thank you for bye -bye. coming and being so good. Thank you very much. Bye. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Anyone want a cup of tea? Girls, do you want peppermint tea? Yes, please. I think it was really fun and I really enjoyed hosting a play date. Yeah? Do you think that Lily and Isis enjoyed themselves? Yeah. Yes, I think they really did. Yeah. Knowing that Lily is positive, she's upbeat, she's friendly, she gets on with life. I think that's quite a, a life lesson for Piper, to see that somebody who has it quite tough just gets on with it. I think that Isis and Lily enjoyed playing with me today and spending time with my family. And like, we had known each other for ages. Did you actually expect to want to stay friends with these people? Yeah. I want to be friends with these guys forever, Mum. Mm -hmm. I think that for her to feel that she can go to other places and make friends just, just like that is going to really boost and improve her confidence, which is actually exactly what she needed. Oh, my girl, my girl, my girl. I think it is important for me to play and to be a child because I'm growing up too fast. In the words of CV Wonder, don't pretend to be older than you are. Give yourself time to grow. <laughs> And I love that um, because that's a very nice motto to have. <laughs>